guys, welcome back to Deep Beauty. Today I'm going to be running you through a quick and easy daily moisturising regime. So excuse the wet hair today guys, but today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I've just hopped out of the shower and I'm going to show you how I like to moisturise from head to toe. I'm going to be using all products from a line called Beauty Counter. They have a really fantastic philosophy, which is that they don't use any harmful ingredients in their, in their products. And they've done so much research into what ingredients work the best. So they have something called the Never List, which is 1,500 ingredients that they do not use in their products. These are harmful ingredients that you find in a lot of other skincare lines. So without further ado, I'm gonna start showing you how I like to moisturize. First up, I'm gonna be using the Body Lotion by Beauty Counter. This is their Citrus Mimosa Body Lotion. And I'm really, really loving this one. It's really hydrating without being too thick. I find with a lot of body lotions that I try out, they can be really, thick and just hard to rub in, which I think kind of puts you off moisturising your body altogether. I wish you had smell vision because this smells absolutely fantastic. It's really citrusy and refreshing smelling. And you can tell that it just really hydrates your skin straight away. It's really easily absorbed. It contains shea butter, jojoba oil, marula oil, and something called mongongo oil, which I wasn't familiar with before, but having looked into it, has some incredible properties. It's really high in fatty acids, so it helps to really hydrate and protect your skin. Now, once you've finished moisturizing your body, you want to move on to your face. And what I like to start with, I don't know about you, but I like to start with an eye cream. So I've been using the Nourishing Eye Cream by Beauty Counter. And this one is really nice because a lot of eye creams can be really, really rich, which obviously you want something that's gonna hydrate the eye area. But sometimes I find they're too rich around the eye and it's hard to really apply makeup afterwards. Uh, with this one, I have not found the same problem. So what I do is I get a little pea-sized amount on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna get my ring finger, very important. For some reason, they always say use your ring finger. I think you apply the right kind of level of pressure with that and you're just going to apply it around the delicate eye area, just taking care while you do it, it feels really nice and cooling, it's got aloe and coconut oil in there, you just want to rub it around that area, it doesn't have to take a really long time, and then just tap, get that circulation going, and just really get the product to absorb in so you're ready for your makeup. So now that your eye area is hydrated, you want to moisturize the rest of your face. Instead of using a normal moisturizer, I've started using a face oil by Beauty Counter. This is their Plumping Jasmine Face Oil, and it's really beautiful if you have dry skin. I do, and this one is working really well for me at the moment. You can use it on its own or with a moisturizer. At nighttime, I love adding it into my nighttime moisturizer and then sleeping in it, so it has a really hydrating treatment sort of feel to it. Um, and in the morning, what I do is I just apply a couple of drops before my moisturizer. So, just get a couple of drops on the back of the hand. You really don't need much, just really hydrating. You've got argan oil and jasmine oil in there, and they're both really good at hydrating and smoothing out any fine lines and wrinkles, which is always good if you're worried about aging. And you just want to smooth that into the skin. Gently, again, doesn't need to take all day. A little bit on the neck. I think a lot of us forget to moisturize the neck. It's really important. And last but not least, I want to share with you the Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer by Beauty Counter. This one is a really fantastic product. It even won the Allure Beauty Award in 2015. I think this one is perfect if you have dry skin like me. I'm not sure if it would be as good, to be honest, if you had an oilier skin type because it is really moisturizing. If you look at when I put it on the back of my hand, it's got this lovely, sort of unctuous, moisturizing quality. And it's designed to give you a really dewy, glowing skin, which is what I love, especially during the daytime. That's, that's how you want, you want your skin to look really glowing, radiant, and youthful. So it's great for dry skin. It has some really lovely ingredients for brightening, such as vitamin C and blackcurrant seed extract, um, which are also gonna help to give you that glowing look. And then you've got sodium hyaluronate in there, which is a form of hyaluronic acid, I think a lot of us are familiar with, which is gonna help to keep that moisture in the skin throughout the day. 
This one also has SPF 20, which is really important, and it's a mineral SPF, so nothing harmful in there. So I'm gonna show you how I like to use it. You can use a brush or your fingers, and you can also layer it on top of a moisturizer or use it on its own. I find it, I just use it on its own after having put on that oil. So I'll just get a nice pump on the back of my hand, and rather than using a brush, I'm actually just gonna use my fingers. So just get a little of the product, put it on the face. As you can see, when you first put it on, it is quite shiny. Um, it kind of feels like putting on a really lovely rich moisturiser, but it does soak into the skin really nicely. But don't worry if you first put it on and think, oh my gosh, this is really greasy. It's actually deceiving in that it absorbs really nicely into the skin. If you just work it in with your fingers. comes in five great shades. So now I've applied my moisturizer. Something they actually recommend even on their website is if you want a little bit more coverage, you can add their foundation. But I actually find I just like to get my concealer then. So at the moment I'm using a combination of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer and the Pericone MD No Concealer Concealer. Um, so I'll get just a little bit of my concealer on the back of my hand and then using a brush I'll just apply it where I need it so that's the real key of getting that natural makeup look so you look like you're not wearing any makeup at all apply on any redness or any blemishes even out the skin tone. And then I'll just get a little bit of Pericon MD on there. Just for an extra radiance. So that's it, my daily moisturising regime. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to click subscribe. And if you have any questions about anything I've said in this video, please email me at beatbeauty at gmail.com. You can find out more information about all the products I mentioned on my blog of beatbeauty.com. Thanks guys.